All right, Virtual Man back at it again. This is his 400 gigabyte, his last release for the Raspberry Pi 3B, 3B Plus, and the A Plus. It'll work on any three of those single board computers. And um, I'm going back in time here. I've been gone for a little bit, so this release has actually been out for uh, a while now. But um, it is his uh, most recent uh, release for that for that particular those three particular single board computers and um, I made a video with the Raspberry Pi 4 earlier and it, you could tell it's faster it's a faster single board computer and it can play some of those advanced systems way better than this board can but you can't beat this board for the price and I hadn't checked I hadn't checked this image out yet so I was like you know I although you know I got to go back in time a little bit it's worth checking it out especially as I've seen a lot of the past builds from, from Virtual Man as well as some other image creators in the past. And so far I can tell you it's freaking amazing. Um, so in this video we're gonna go ahead and show you what's on it, show you some of the options, and show you why it is a superior build to a lot of the other um, builds out there um, that sometimes they take the time and then sometimes they don't. at this special shout outs he goes into some really uh, everything from how to get your SD card ready if you're gonna use a hard drive any kind of known issues like with the 1080p and 4k um, just 4k 1080p computers are just or monitors are just fine and displays and then look at this he goes into all of his tweaks and changes and what he's fixed in this particular release and then actual um, games and then what I really like is, especially for those that are new, is he shares with you all the different ways to enter and exit the emulator. Um, what are the hotkeys? Uh, should you use a controller? So like for example, um, you know, Commodore 64 controller supported, but best experience with a keyboard and a mouse. Um, so freaking amazing detailed work. All right, so on first boot, I entered in my controls. It does have a ton of background music installed. What I did was just I went to options over here when you finally get to it, and I changed the, turned the background script off. Um, that's very easy. Something that's really cool about this image in general is it has all these different folders in here, emulation tools, network tools, system tools, um, you know, all these scripts installed. Now, um, I, I previewed another build that I've seen recently that you know it's gonna come, be coming out soon or is already out, um, and that was just freaking fantastic. So it gets even better than this, but as far as for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, this is freaking cool. Um, so it does have Kodi pre-installed, not a huge deal. You can get that installed on your own really easily, but here's where it comes in is just you know every little uh, video snap, all the metadata, huge game collections, controls that are already set up for you, um, the latest emulators as far as when this uh, release was done and um, a ton a ton of little little tweaks every in, in specific games even that you know you all um, you know no one tests all their games in in their whole entire image there's just no way I mean this build right here is packing is a 400 gigabyte image by the way and it is packing so you will need a 400 gigabyte SD card but um, as far as all games, I know it's going to be a lot. We'll check it out in a second. Um, and then there's some cool trick games like Hacks and Open Bore and some other cool systems. But I wanted to start with all games. Got a little sidetracked here. Um, all games, 1,200 games. A lot of these are CD-based games, so they're taking up quite a bit of file size. Let's check out what's in his favorites. So some Dreamcast games. And Dreamcast, a lot of the Dreamcast games do run just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3, B+. Really where you're going to find issues is when you get into some PSP games and some Nintendo 64 games. Demon Front, awesome game. 
Okay, full throttle. Great game. Neo dripped out. Great game. Quake 1 and 2. Great games. Very cool. Yeah, so it's a good place to start right there is just in his favorites. So let's go ahead and go through this. There are some game collection here. You can easily, you might be seeing that like, wow, you have to scroll a lot. Well, there's a lot of collections enabled here um, that are custom collections like these here. They're all the Double Dragon games. All the You can easily disable those. Just go press start, go into your UI settings and um, or go to your game collection settings and then you have 17 selected right now. You can just unselect them. Like if I don't want beat em ups anymore, or I don't want ca like if I don't want Castlevania, I just do that. So as far as systems go, though, we have Amiga 626 games, Amiga CD 25, CPC 114, Arcade Classic 1700. That's a big arcade set. You can always hit select and jump to something. So if you're looking, you know, for example, for Galaga, you go over to G, go ahead and hit your B button. And there you go, you got your Galagas. Um, Atari 2600, 630, 5200, 96, 7858, Atari Lynx 83, Commodore 64, 64, Coley, Co, 140, Daphne, you got nine. And his games are all set up to, I know a lot of people wish, you know, Daphne gets missed a lot of these images. Dreamcast 28, it's a lot of games considering, uh, you know, it's a, only a 400 gigabyte. Um, SD card. Some of these games are close to a gigabyte. Family Computer System 386. Family Computer Disk System 128. Super Famicon 509. Nintendo Game & Watch 52. And these have some cool bezels on them as well. 259 on Game Gear. Game Boy 557 Advanced. All of them over a thousand. Game Boy Color 533. It's got all your Pokemons. Sega Genesis 778. And you can see that some of these are favorited. a lot of games Kung Fury okay in television 135 Sega Master System 277 MSX2 100 Nintendo 64 only 30 that's interesting you know and a lot of the, you know maybe he picked the games and he did I can tell you right now a lot of these games will run Doom Eternal comes out tomorrow um yeah a lot of these will run just fine Nintendo DS, 252. That's a lot right there. Cool little collection here. They got the Mario Karts, Call of Duties, some Final Fantasy, Kirby, Lego games are fun. Um, and then all the Mario Mega Man games. There's even a Metal Slug for the for the Nintendo DS. Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, 10, and 144 Neo Geo. Uh, Nintendo, 76... Okay, Super Nintendo, 788, Super Nintendo CD, Open Beats of Rage. Ports, this is pretty cool. Full games of Brutal Doom, Sea Dogs, Cannonball, Cave Story, Quake. And uh, a lot of these are already set up for... Um, a lot of those are already set up for controller. So PSP, these are, again, some big games. Cool that he really kind of dove in there and got some variety. That's really cool. This is a big improvement from what I've seen in the past. A lot more um, great game, Michael Machines. That whole franchise was pretty cool. Uh, PSP Minis, those little mini games. 321 Super Crash being my go to. <laughs> okay. PlayStation 4. Who needs a PlayStation Mini? 415 games. Now that the PlayStation Mini is under $20, though, you really can't beat that. Scum VM 96, Sega 32X, 2032, Sega CD 100, Sega SG 1068, TurboGrafx 100, TurboGrafx CD 160, TI 99 uh, games, 90 games, Vetrix 25, Virtual Boy 25, Sharp 68,100, ZX and Clear 180, and then we have all of our um, collections Nintendo Classic, Virtual Man's. Arcade games and uh, racing games, Super Nintendo Classic, and then back to all games. Wow. If you hit select, you're into the screensavers. Let's 
some pretty cool ones. Very cool screensavers. Um, oh, that's cool. Some cool photos he found. All right, so let's try a PSP game. Let's do one we can get into pretty quickly. Let's try this TNT Racers. Let's do it. Vroom. Trying pretty good. Wow, I got some serious ear right there. What are my controls here? Ooh. Oh, we got some lag. Playable, for sure. There's a lot of oversteer here. Whoa. Whoa. I did not do that. My car, it's like a Tesla. The autopilot took over. Okay. Okay, cool. You can get into this. You can change your settings up. Let's just go ahead and hit and I just use the Xbox controller to do that. The Xbox button on my Xbox 360 controller. So we played a PSP game. Let's check out one of these ports. Those will run just fine. Quake will run just fine. Duke Nukem, these all just run just fine. Those are all old DOS games. That'll run just fine. Let's do a Nintendo DS game. Great game, I just don't want to get a, a strike from. It's an easy mobile game too. Pokemon, I don't have time to get into that. This looks pretty good. Where do I turn? Where are we supposed to turn? Okay, here we go. You gotta hit the brakes hard. Oh. I see no lag though. It's running really good. Check behind me. Nice. Really good. And then hitting the... The D... The pad it looks like it's gonna work well use my special there So there you have it, Virtual Man giving us some killer stuff. I mean, talk about somebody who's detailed. I love it. You know, if I could get a 400 gigabyte SD card in the Raspberry Pi 3, I would not hesitate for a second to slap this on there. It is impressive to say the least. I can't find a single thing to knock it. It would definitely be in my top three images, um, especially on the larger end, the 400 gigabyte category. And, uh, you know, to his point, it's probably the last image he'll ever make for the Raspberry Pi 3B+, because he's kind of maximized the potential of that single board computer. If you want to play any more extensive games or any other emulators, they just don't really exist. He's tapped out the, the p potential, I'd say. I mean, not 100%, but 95, 99% of it. Um, so, highly recommend A+, good work. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.